on this edition of Size Eyes on the Sky. Temperatures took a nosedive today and they're going to continue to fall overnight. How cold will they get? I'll let you know in your full forecast coming up in there. That and other things coming up just a little bit. Size Eyes on the Sky starts now. It's Wednesday night on ISU TV. Broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Sky. ISU TV's longest running television show brings you the weather around the country, in Iowa, Ames, and beyond. The Iowa State Meteorology Department's team of forecasters keeps you ahead of the next weather system. Size Eyes on the Sky starts now. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. I'm here with Zach Sharp. Oh, two-person show tonight. Definitely. It's, it's, Definitely. it's uh, I think the cold kept everyone in tonight. And I think so. We're the ones that braved it and came out tonight. It was a long walk for me, but oh. I braved it as well. So. Yeah, and we started out with, it was sort of warm this morning, and our, our highs were reached at midnight tonight, and then temperatures continued to take a nosedive throughout the day. And we had rain earlier in the day, and then eventually this afternoon it transitioned to freezing rain in western Iowa, which caused some slick spots in the roads. Are we going to expect any snow anytime soon? Maybe. I'll, have a, I'll, I'll show in the seven-day forecast. Uh, it looks like we may have a chance for some accumulating widespread snow across the state. That's what I like to hear. Because, uh, you know, in northwest Iowa, they did see some snow today. And okay. uh, they always get the fun up there, and eventually <laughs> we'll get some of that fun. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at tonight's graphics, if we do. And we see current temps across the nation right now. You can see that big Arctic blast that is eventually going to push its way down further south. And current temps in Billings, 3 degrees. And that is on its way. And overnight, it will continue to push to the south and east, bringing in those cooler temperatures. 24-hour temperature, 24 temperature change. Wow. 24 degrees in 24 hours in, in the city of Des Moines. 22-degree drop from this time yesterday in Ames, 19 in Council Bluffs and it will continue to fall throughout the overnight hours. So if you go ahead and take a look at the day planner, we see by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, 12 degrees, and it won't warm up too much by 2 p.m. at 19 degrees tomorrow afternoon, and eventually at dinner time, 16 degrees with mostly clear skies. So we, we will see the return of the sun, but it's gonna be very chilly. So I'll have a full breakdown on how cold it will get coming up in a little bit. Eric, back to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Zach. Now we're gonna head to a quick commercial break. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. I'm here with your national forecast. I'm meteorologist Eric Mangus. Now taking a look at the country. Like Zach said, there is a huge cold mass up to your northwest. Currently that will move through earlier late on the week, but we'll get to that later. Taking a look at the temperatures across the nation. Where are Oh my God. Okay, okay, now we, yeah, we're in the north, northeast here. Looking at this, we have some nice 40 degree temperatures in New York, staying around seasonal for this time of year. Heading down to the southeast, uh, Florida with a nice warm around the 70s through today, uh, nice beach weather. Uh, it's pretty nice, decent, around average temps for this time of year, but a little unseasonably warm in this region as well. We will now head to our southwest to where we can see 57 down in Santa Monica, 52 up in San Francisco. You know, moderate temperatures this time of year. Not too bad, not too nice, give or take, you like it or not. Now heading up to our northwest, you can see Seattle's at a cool 37. Once that cold front moved through Monday night during that Seahawks game, it's definitely here to stay for a while. And now taking it to the more interesting part of the country, where most of our weather is occurring through Minneapolis, up in the Duluth area. You have cooler temp cold front moving in through bringing in a nice low with plenty of snowfall up north and rain to your south, which actually may continue to cause problems throughout the rest of the country as we head into the weekend. Now just taking a look at the uh, radar across the country, as you can see it's pretty boring other than up there in good old Minnesota, where you can see lots of plenty of snowfall. Up to 30 inches I've heard so far in the past 48 hours for the Duluth area, which isn't too bad. I, I like that, but I'd like to see a little bit more come south down in the Iowa region. But it's not too bad around there. Kind of rough road conditions as well. 
just taking a look, closer look, um, lots of snowfall continue to fall throughout the night. Most likely they'll move through onto the weekend. So it's uh, looking quite snowy out there. Now taking a look at some weather and warnings. Of course, you have the winter weather advisory. You have some fog down here and some very cool temperatures out in Billings, out there in Montana. So you should be expecting that to stick around as that front moves through. And zooming in on that, we can now again see the winter weather advisory. And you see this purple line, which I just touched, that little ice boundary, which Rochester, Minnesota is just touching on. Kind of missed that snow boundary just a little bit. But hey, next snowstorm around, we should get some snow. And moving on, we have our future cast, which we should see throughout the rest of the week. We will see the snow kind of move up into Canada. And you will see rain continue on through the southeastern portion of the United States, where that will continue to cause an ice line, possibly, which could cause a lot of travel, a lot of issues for travel. But it's a much needed precipitation in that area, give or take whatever we need. And as that continues on through through the weekend, on to your Saturday and Sunday, it should be pushing through and making the roads horrible, as you can see there. Yes. <sighs> now, just taking a look at the high temperatures for tomorrow, you still have that cold air up near the Colorado Rockies and up through most of central United States. And temperatures down in the southeast, still reasonably warm and cooling off into the future. Now taking a look at the seven day forecast for Rochester, Minnesota, my hometown. It's gonna be very cold after this cold front moves through. You got 11 degrees Thursday, 13 on Sunday. So we're gonna be very cold, almost 20 degrees below average this time of year. And not much chance of precipitation, 20% chance, and then another 20% chance in the next week. So not too exciting on Rochester, but I thought I'd just point that out. Hometown, shout out. There we go. <laughs> now head back to you, Zach Sharp. Uh, thank you very much, Eric. We're going to take a look at tonight's trivia question, which Eric tried to give away there for a second. <laughs> How much snow fell in Mason City on December 4th? Did we get the Oh, and there's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this short break. <laughs> Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. We're going to redo that trivia question quick here. Now, how much snow did it fall? How much snow fell in Mason City on December 4th and 5th in 1973? Was it A, 3 inches, B, 7 inches, C, 21 inches, or D, 26 inches? And the answer was 26 inches. Why does it say correct? Seven inches on December 4th and 5th in 1973. Now let's throw over to Zach for our Iowa forecast. Thank you very much, Eric. And having some technical difficulties there tonight. Current temps out there across the state. We see 24 in the city of Des Moines, 30 in Ottumwa, 19 in Council Bluffs, and very cold, 15 degrees in Sioux City. Now those winds, they're gusting out there tonight from the north, northwest. And as we see, 17 miles per hour in the city of Des Moines, 25 miles per hour here in Ames, 24 out in Sioux City. So the upper teens, the lower 20s for wind speeds out there. When you factor those in, it puts a big bite in the air. Negative four feel like temperature out in Sioux City, four degrees out in Council Bluffs, five degrees here in the city of Ames. So we're starting to see those single digit temperature, feel like temperatures start to move into our region. And those will continue to fall throughout the overnight hours. And if we go ahead and zoom out, we can see it really gets worse off to our north and west. Pierre, South Dakota, negative 13 degree fill like temperature. North Platte, negative 6 degrees. And those will continue to usher in with those strong winds throughout the night. So there, if you're going out tonight, make sure to bundle up as it will be very cold. And if we go ahead and advance here. Zooming back into Iowa, we see we had some showers move through with the freezing drizzle out to our west, which caused slick roads this earlier this afternoon. There were some minor snow accumulations up in northwest Iowa, but part of eastern Iowa just saw that rain before the cold temperatures moved in. And if we see nothing a whole lot out to our west, we were in the middle of everything, a big system to our south, which Eric just showed us, and a big system up to our north. So we've dodged a bullet here in Iowa. And if we go ahead and put future casts into motion, we see tomorrow we'll bring the sun out tomorrow with a few minor cumulus clouds moving through, not too much, just because of that system down to our south that will feed in those clouds. Otherwise, a mostly nice day. As we see, there's that system to our north, system to our south, 
nice and dry in the middle. For folks who like snow, that is not good. But otherwise, if you do not like, or if you like snow, wait a few days. I'll have that here in a bit. Tonight, 11 degrees with those winds gushing up to 33 miles per hour tonight. Feel like temperature near negative 10 at times with those winds gushing at the 33. Tomorrow, 34 degrees, blustery conditions out there once again. Wind shields tomorrow afternoon will feel like negative 5. So once again, if you're going out tomorrow afternoon to class, make sure to bundle up. Friday, 13 degrees. Friday in the Saturday morning, we see a big old goose egg, so it will be very cold. Windshield values could be approaching negative 15 and negative 20 degrees by Saturday morning with a 14 degree high on Saturday. Sunday is our next weather maker. We're watching that one as it looks like it could be our next chance for some good accumulating snows, slight to moderate snow accumulations there with a high of 20. Monday, those snow, snow showers continue throughout the morning hours with a high of 15 with a low of negative 2 on Monday night, so it is going to be very cold next week. Uh, it looks like it may rebound a little bit, but not a whole lot, but it's starting to feel like winter. Okay, it seems like this week will be much more interesting than weather-wise. Yeah, we're watching Sunday as it looks like maybe rough idea right now of two to five inches. I'll have a lot more on Newswatch 18 tomorrow night with the latest forecast models, mm -hmm. but it could be, well, it's not going to be a heavy snow. It's going to be a long duration snow. It will start Sunday afternoon, it looks like, and will continue through midday on Monday. And it's going to be very cold, so we're going to have that light, fluffy snow, and so it will add up very quickly, as we all know. I'm excited about that, especially because we dodged that system that was from bias. So. Yeah, I, I, I know you being from Minnesota that you want some snow, probably. I'm definitely used to it, so and this is kind of a bummer for me. And then this is our last show tonight for the semester, as we'll be back in 2013. But when we do come back in 2013, our show time will move to 6 p.m. So that means we're going to be here a lot earlier. It cuts into our dinner hour, but hey, we'll be done earlier. Well. It's all for the people and the viewers out there. So, on behalf of Iowa State, thank you for watching Size Eyes on the Skies today, and you have a wonderful day.